Now let's be honest, an RV's awning is potentially fragile. If that awning's not properly anchored, one good gust of wind and, well, you could be up for a bit of a repair bill. So look, I'm pretty pleased to be able to test out this rollout awning anchor kit by Outback Tracks. This promises to be an all-in-one awning anchoring solution. It comes with everything that you need to get going, doesn't look complicated at all, so there's only one thing to do and that's to roll out the awning on the Goldstream RV and see how well it works. The beauty about this system is that, look, it gives you the flexibility to use your awning in multiple ways. Using this product, you can leave the awning's legs attached to the van, you can properly anchor the legs and have the awning fully set up, or look, you can have one vertical leg out and you can leave the other leg attached to the van to give you a nice walk through to the front of the van, but I'll show you what I mean. Well, let's open up this awning and check it out. Now this is typically how a lot of people would just leave their awning. They've got the legs still attached to the van and it's really just in the lap of the gods. You know, a good strong gust of wind and this thing, look, there could be a bit of damage. I actually want to set up this awning so that the legs are vertical and we don't have any obstructions either side. And then I'm going to use the special anchor plates that come with the kit, as well as these specially designed screw-in pegs. They're called ground dog screw-in pegs and they sort of taper and they really bite into the soil. The first thing to do is to detach the awning legs. Once you've got those vertical awning arms set up, they need to be properly anchored and usually a 10 peg is just not going to do it. You want something with a bit of bite to it and that's why these ground dog screw in pegs should prove ideal. This is the anchor plate that I mentioned. It slips over the little metal bar that is used to attach to the clasps on the side of the caravan when the awning's packed away. This is the ground dog screw in peg. You can see the way it tapers and these winged collars that come as part of the kit, they thread onto the ground dog screw in peg and that's going to help the ground dog screw in peg anchor that anchor plate very securely to the ground to ensure that the vertical awning arms don't go anywhere. The relevant socket for your portable drill comes as part of the kit. And then it's literally just a case of using your portable drill and putting it into the ground. That goes in nice and easily. We'll put one on the other side and then we'll do the other leg. Now if the ground was really firm, you could actually pre-drill the ground using a masonry bit. But that's not necessary here. So just taking up the slack, making that tensioning arm nice and tight, and then we can do the other side. I'll just grab a couple more ground dog screw in pegs. We'll just fit the winged collars, which are a very important part of the kit. These really make a difference in terms of how well they anchor the vertical awning arms. So again, it's just a matter of fitting the anchor plate just up over that little steel bar, fitting your ground dog screw in peg. Now this is quite unique, I like this idea. The manufacturer has made the hex head of each screw in peg the same size as the hex head on the quick drop corner stabilizers. Now what this means is that you can use the winder for your stabilizers to get your screws into the ground. You know, you might have forgotten to bring your portable drill or give it to your kids and let them help. Let's give it a crack. Now this actually works well. Granted, it's not as fast as using a portable drill, but you know, in a pinch, there we go, that works well. That is how you use the anchor plates and the ground dog screw in pegs with those winged collars. Very simple process, but what if we want to have our awning set up differently? Say we want to have the front of the van open, we want that awning arm vertical, but we want to have this one still attached to the van. Sometimes that can be a bit easier. Well, no worries at all. We can set the awning up that way as well. As it is like this, we've got the anchor plates, we've got the ground dog screw in pegs and the winged collars in place. This awning feels nice and secure. But if you wanted to, for a bit of extra peace of mind, the kit does come with high-vis tie-down straps. Won't always be necessary to use those straps when the awning is in this position, but I actually did do that a couple of weeks ago when it was really blustery. And I found that with the combination of the high-vis straps firmly secured to the ground with the ground dog screw-in pegs and the anchor plates that it was super secure. But on a day like today, it's not overly windy. I reckon we're okay just with the anchor plates and the ground dog screw-in pegs with those winged collars. But again, when that wind is up, chuck on your high-vis tie-down straps as well. But for now, I'm going to attach this arm 
back onto the caravan just to demonstrate different ways that we can use the Outback Tracks rollout awning anchor kit. Now, because we don't have an anchor plate on this side of the awning, we might throw on one of those high-vis tie-down straps just for security on this side of the awning. So this is the tie-down strap, high-vis, and you'll note that it has a built-in rubber safety spring. So there's no way you're going to cut yourself. It's not going to break. And here we have another ground dog screwing peg, but this time you'll see it has this little hooked collar on it, and I'll demonstrate how that works. And as we can see, these high-vis straps comes in two pieces and we have a cam buckle on one of them. And we can attach that by looping it around the barrel of the awning. It's actually surprising just how simple but effective this product really is. They also provide some retaining clips just so you can keep everything nice and neat. Now the beauty of setting up your awning this way is that you've got clear access through to the front of the van which is perfect if you happen to have, you know, a barbecue in that front boot. Sold separately from our back tracks, you've got these ground puppies. These are specially designed to secure your awning mat through the reinforced island. And they even come with these cute little caps so that you don't stub your little toe. Now lastly, we can have both legs attached to the van, secured by both of those high-vis straps. Very, very simple. Tell you what, these cam buckles make things nice and easy. I find that they work really well, they're very durable. This awning now feels nice and secure, and if a strong wind came through, I think we would be okay. One final thing, now, what happens if the ground is really muddy or it's too sandy? In that case, you might want to think about getting yourself some of these big dog screw-in pegs. I mean, look at how aggressive that thread is. It has built-in hooks. And in instances where the ground dog screw-in pegs won't work, this should do the job, and if it doesn't, well, you might want to think about changing spots. Tell you what, I'm glad we've got the awning out now and properly secured because the weather is really starting to turn. And you know what, it's so easy to fit and I've been using this product now for a little while and I just think it is cheap peace of mind. It really does a good job and it comes with everything that you need to secure your awning except of course the portable drill. But if you don't have one, just use the winder for your stabilizers. So if you're looking for a way to really secure your awning, this rollout awning anchor kit is definitely worth having a think about. I like it, it's now part of my permanent caravanning kit.